Hey folks, it's Roy from a Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! Um, got another entry for you this weekend. This weekend was in Columbus, Ohio, was Origins Weekend! Yay! Um, it's a local gaming con uh, run by Gamma, I believe. Game. I don't remember what the acronym is, but it's a it's a ma major game game company uh, association, and they they run a con every year. Um, it's about me a pretty nice sized con about. 10, I think between 10 and 15,000 in attendance every year. Um, so the usual, the usual fun and games going on, lots of, um, lots of different workshops, and of course, dealer room. Yeah, baby. So, loot from Origins, woo! Um, so what do I look at there? I'm not a huge gamer, um, but I just pick up interesting random stuff, um, as far as gaming things go, um, I'm a huge miniatures fan, um, as you can imagine, and also a huge source book person. So, case of actually kind of ironic, I ended up finding this at Origins, um, you know, two weeks after Wonder Woman came out. It is from Riffs. Love Riffs. Oh my lord. Um, for for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it is a gaming system like D and D. Um, you know, it's a role play make character blah 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 um in this case of the one thing that makes it different is that it's happening in near future earth um where all sorts of disastrous other dimensional wah 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 things happen so i have so a giant energy field just goes ape on the planet and all of a sudden there's like about i forget how many hundreds if not thousands of years of chaos and darkness and all sorts of hades and damnation are unleashed on the planet and one thing that happens is that all sorts of mystical energy is unleashed. So all of a sudden you have this giant planet that is both magic and science in there. So, you know, it's not just it's not just a Marvel MC or DC extend, um, extended universe with sciencey stuff going on. You also have things like um like monsters, demons, the whole nine yards. Cat, uh, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria, <laughs> and um, the gaming system riffs as a multitude of source books, just talking about the characters, things you run into, and one of the latest releases that I was thinking of getting, and uh, unfortunately I never had a chance to actually look at it, so I wasn't too sure, sure if I wanted to buy it, buy it was the Shimmerian Nation Rift source book, um, and right now I know most of you are going, bro, I have no idea what this is about. Um, the reason it's a big deal, whole bunch of really badass female warriors are traipsing around Appalachia in this near future, um, that are under the control of a giant cyborg computer thing called Archie 3. I won't go into more details because there's going to be enough rambling as it is, but it's a cool book. Um, lots of information about the different characters. Um, and for me, since I'm a mecha fan and a weapon fan, Lots of cool weapons, like a giant rail gun that's the size of a truck. Um, I see also like cyborgy weapon um, creatures that they ride, and of course, they themselves have lots of armor and stuff. Cool. So gotta get it. So what else did I find at um at at Origins in the dealer room? Um, I actually did not find this at the dealer room, right in the conventions in the um, Hyatt. In the base of Hyatt, there is a comic book shop. I am so sorry. I can never remember what the name of it is. I feel so bad. Uh, but they're really cool. They're in there in the basement. It's like right next. It's right next to the um, right next to the um, to the food court and right next to the Java Cafe. Um, and they have Hero Clicks miniatures. Woo! So I got some miniatures too um, for really cheap. Um, this is from a gaming system called Hero Clicks. Um, basically, you pick superhero characters and fight and blah 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 blah. Um, so I got Terex the Tamer, Woo. got the umpteenth versions of Dr. Fate and Dr. Strange, two mystical dudes, Woo. he's from DC, he's from Marvel, yes, that Dr. Strange, no, he's not British, this is what the comic book costume looks like, yes, it looks really garish, but designed by Steve Ditko, um, Go Google. You'll see. It gets... The, the stuff gets more garish. So, yay! 
cool stuff. I have multiple versions of this, but I just like the the um, I like the poses, which are kind of a little more dynamic. And also, the cool thing is both of these have these little like energy clear translucent energy effect things on their hands, which I thought was really really cool. Um, and actually, Hero Clicks in general, um, I think they do wonderful work. Um, it's fun to see them, you know, over the like literal decade or so they've been around doing this. Um, how the work's gotten better. It's just cool stuff. And the last one I got is my umpteenth Iron Man miniature. Woo! This one is based on the, um, what are they unofficially calling it? I think they're calling it the, um, the, oh, shoot. Um, this is, this is the, uh, the armor from after he ended, up, let's see here. It is after the armor wars, um, um, and, you know, recreated, you'll, go Google, Google's your friend. It's the umpteenth version of his armor because, well, you want different types of armor. It's cool. It's Iron Man. Yay! And the last thing I got, <clears throat> um, I'm not too, is this from Pathfinder? It might be from Pathfinder. I don't remember. Um, it's kind of like, remember the other miniatures I showed you? Um, from, um, oh gosh, from, oh yeah, from, from Markon. It's another, I think it's from the same company. It's called a Clockwork Dragon. Um, aka steampunk. See, bronze, bronze and leather wings. Um, it just looked cool. Um, it, I'm looking at all the other monsters. I'm like, oh great, one more dragon, ma, ma, ma. Like I don't have enough dragons already from Safari and a couple other miniature companies and all this whatnot. And then I saw this and I went, Mecha Dragon, Mecha Dragon, cool. So yay, one more dragon cool um so yeah that's it that's the loot um not a ton of stuff but a lot of fun goofy things um I, and frankly that's why i still go to dealer rooms at cons all the time because you never know what you're gonna find um you know it's whole idea of serendipity it's like going to a thrift store going to a yard sale you know sometimes you walk in spend about two hours and go really and then other times yank, 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 yank. cool so anyway there we go found a bunch of stuff and <laughs> Wizard World Columbus gonna be here in August. Yeah, baby. Anyway, so hey, y'all take care. Have a good have a good rest of the weekend. Um, as always, may the force be with you. May the odds be always in your favor. And 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 please, please, let's be good to each other, right? Peace, peeps. Bye.